So I was inconspicuously walking down the street one evening, minding my own business when like about 40, 40 angry villagers just started chasing me for no reason. And I wasn't doing anything. I was, but th there was at least 40 of them. And you know, I'm a little neurotic. So you can imagine that I was caught extremely out of my element. And what is your element? Um, really any time the Yankees win, That'll do it. But um, I'm a very, um, very quiet person by nature, Doc, and it's, um, it's very, um, usually I would prefer to just go home. Um, maybe whenever there's no thunder or no l loud voices in the distance. Uh, just listen to an old Duke Ellington record or, or an old Kozlowski picture. Um, do, do you mind if I... Oh, no. Go ahead. Thank you. You know, I've always been terrified of fire, but but actually, now that I'm up close to it, it's not it's not so terrifying. I used to be scared. I, I used to be an icon of fear, terrorizing people in the streets, strangling my victims in the darkness. What bloody business do I ever want to kill it? It doesn't make any darn sense. I'm a Drunk Scottish mummy. They ain't real, Doc. I'm a hack. I'm no vampire. I'm a joke. Eddie Cohen, he's twice the vampire I am and I'll ever be. Come on, Frank, you never take me out anymore. I'm gonna go somewhere, do something. What do you need to go out for? Everything you need is right here at home. We could, we could uh, rent, rent, rent a David Lynch film or order Italian or something, it'd be great. This isn't fair. You promised that if I came with you to see Mama Shelley, you would take me out to dinner this weekend. You're right, you're right. A promise is a promise. A deal's a deal. That's fine. But we can't stay out too late. I have a, I have an eczema issue and I can't stay out past midnight. Um, also, a prostate exam in the morning, you know, and I need at least eight hours of sleep to mentally prepare myself. You, you see what I'm dealing with here, Doc? Oh, stop it, Frank. Look, look, I, I love her sense of humor. I was a joke, sweetheart. That's why I fell in love with you. Um, that and it's living proof that uh, humor is, is undead. You've been married before. Uh, yes, um, I, I, um, I had an issue with my first wife, especially uh, when I introduced her to my parents. Uh, you see, they, they approved of her, which uh, that and the fact that, well, I died, which uh, is a real, puts a real damper on, uh, on the lovemaking. Murray, how were your previous relationships? Mine? Oh, Doctor, there was never any time for anyone else. One might say I was literally made for Frank. One might say? Well, in fact, I was. But I admit, they might not have gotten all the bugs worked out. Probably not, and the lovemaking is fantastic. She just lays there like a corpse. The worst part is, I'm not even scary anymore! I couldn't scare a damn poodle! I went after this guy the other day, Derek Stoneberger. Now that was a bloody train wreck. <laughs> With one of the most successful World Cup matches of last year, a goalie. Now let's see, coming back in, Germans have the ball first. One kick through, it's Schweinsteiger back up to closer, closer back, holds the ball through. He goes through, nope. Oh, and it's intercepted. Are you self-conscious about the way you look? I don't know. Why don't you look and find out? That's the thing, Doc. Whenever I look into the mirror, it's impossible for me to see my reflection. Are you afraid? Afraid? No. I literally cannot see myself in a mirror. The only gig I can get anymore is being chased around by Brendan Fraser! Brendan Fraser! Little twit! Oh, I got to chase the mummy! I got to get the mummy! I got to kill the mummy! Used to be, I killed them! But no more! Brendan Fraser, little bastard!
How does that affect you? It shattered my self-image, Doc. I'm not the monster I used to be. If I can't be who I am, I may as well embrace what I'm not. Psh, um, why is, why is death worth living? You know, my, my, my reanimationist has insisted that I stay away from the subject completely. And, um, and the more that I think about it, the, um, a void comes to mind. And this void is nothing like marriage, Doc, I assure you. You don't get to choose when it happens, or... Or when they, or when they send you back. Isn't it beautiful out? Yeah, yeah, it's really so pretty when there's no one chasing after us. No, I really love it. Boy, we really lucked out getting a second chance at this. I don't care what anyone says. It's been a real walk-off, you notice? At least we aren't the only monsters out there. I think we better head home, Frank. Yeah? There's another mob coming down the road. <sighs> uh, 11 o'clock, because eight hours of sleep, you know. I messed that up, but that's alright. It's a cool. We'll roll with it. These dishes are so clean. <laughs> also, the lovemaking is fantastic. She just lays there like a corpse. She does make a lot of noise, and you know how I am with loud noises. I'm not a big fan, but uh, earplugs are great. These are removable. They might not have gotten all the bugs worked out. And I have nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I picked at least this half. Um, it was on sale. Um, the, uh, the Dr. Frankenstein had a big clearance market at the, uh, the graves that year. This side's dyslexic, this side isn't. It's very strange, I don't know how that worked out. Hmm. Oh, that was a bloody train wreck! <laughs> <laughs>